Hello, art people. Welcome to day two of Minecraft self-portraits. I am enhancing my Minecraft self-portrait by painting all the large sections like this so that I can demonstrate that I understand how to safely and proficiently use a paint palette, paint brushes, and the paint. I'll know I've got it when I've enhanced all the large areas of my Minecraft self-portrait without damaging any brushes, clogging the sink, and I've used almost all the paint on my palette. So for instance, this is how I finished mine. This is how much I have left on my palette. That's not a whole lot. It's about as much, um, enough to like fill about this much. Like if there was like a little cup, that was maybe about like this big or so. Just a teeny tiny little bit. So, you know, if you put too much paint on the palette and you don't use it all, if you don't use all the paint on your palette, that means that you put too much paint on your palette. We'll talk about that more in a second. Anyway, that's our objectives for the day. Okay, so before our activity, let's now do our art history connection. Now, I know we've already done an artist connection for this lesson, um, Not Grace Live on YouTube, because she redoes um, some of the Minecraft paintings from the game in real life. And we watched that video for day one. But we actually have a bonus art history um, connection, and it is Piet Mondrian, um, because he was like the first expert at making awesome art just using squares and rectangles and lines before Minecraft even. So I'd like to introduce you to him. So let's go ahead and pause the video and watch um, a Mondrian video. This one right here would be good. All right, great. Now that we have watched that video, we are going to check out our vocabulary for the day, which is dimensions. And we'll watch this video here. All righty, now that we've gone over our introduction, we can start our activity. So the first thing we'll need for our activity today is our um, drawing from last time. So if you're a bear, you can help your table get their drawings from last time. All right, fabulous. And now we need a pencil. If you're an alligator, you can get out the pencils. Okay, fabulous. And we're gonna check to make sure that your name and your class is in the bottom right corner of your artwork. And I did all these little details um, for my artwork off camera. So you guys are probably going to want to uh, go ahead and pause this video here and add all of your details now. Um, drawing your accessories and maybe some texture in your hair and some things for the background. Um, I do have some background ideas for you. I of course have just this um, plain ground and sky. Here is an idea of just a plain ground and sky um, painted. You could also do a bakery if you wanted to have some shelves with some pastries. Another idea is a library type area. So here is how you could do a shelf if you wanted um, and a carpet and a window. Um, you could do whatever type of background you want. So let's go ahead and pause it here and let you guys add your pencils details. All right, wonderful. Now that we have done that, we do get to do a base layer on our painting today. So you don't need to worry about painting all these little teeny tiny things. Um, we can do that on day three. So we just wanna do basically the large items today. So I like to call this a base layer of everything. So the first thing that we're gonna need is our paint palette. Now this is a tool in which we will squeeze a little bit of paint onto um, before painting it onto our artwork. So if you're a puppy dog, you can get a paint palette for everybody at your table. Great. And we are going to use the paint bottles um, for minor tubes, but yours are more like this bottles for our artwork today. And um, again, once you get these, you'll just squeeze a little bit um, and then paint with that, and then a little bit, and then paint with that. You're not going to think, what is every single color I'm gonna paint with today? Let's get every single one of those colors out. You don't really wanna work like that because you're gonna accidentally waste a lot of paint. So you just wanna put a little bit in and paint with that. All right, put a little bit, paint with that, 
a little bit paint with that and you're going to ask me if you can mix colors and my answer is yes but we don't want to squeeze a whole bunch of like a thousand different colors and then mix it all up just like to play um it's not like playing time but let's say you wanted to have a light blue sky and there's only um like a dark blue in your box and you want it to be lighter then you can absolutely do a little white a little blue mix it together together over here you've got a light blue like little things like that are fine like as long as you're actually creating a color that you want to use does that make sense so we're not like and i, I also want to warn you you're not going to be able to get two palettes uh you, you're not going to get to clean your palette off and start all over you're only going to be painting for 40 minutes if you fill up this whole palette with paint and don't use it all then that's showing me that um you are are just not using the paint in a responsible manner okay so that being said um I've, I've just seen that before where kids just like pour out tons of paint on the palette mix it all up we've got a big brown mess and then they're like oh i need another palette now it's like well let's be good planners let's think about the color that we want you choose colors to make that experiment a little bit let's not go like wild and crazy okay now that being said i do want you to have fun i want you to experiment and you know practice mixing colors but i don't want us to lose focus of what we're working on today you know that all that being said now that you've heard my spiel about that if you're the kitty cat you can get out the paint Okay, and now for the brushes and water, that is the puppy dog's job. So the puppy dog, you can get the caddy. It's this green thing that has your paint brushes and water in it. Okay, so in theory, we would have two cups of water and two cups of paint brushes, one for each side of the table. And you kind of just keep it in the middle of the table. And the paint brushes go in one cup and the water is in the, the other cup. And I know that gets messed up really easily, but that is kind of the goal, all right? And if you were to ask politely to clean out your paint water, I would say yes. But what you'd wanna do is just go to the sink, dump out the dirty paint water, fill it back up. So you don't wanna do this thing where you're dumping it, filling it, dumping it, filling it, dumping it, filling it, dumping it, filling it. I've seen that happen before too. And what happens is my sink can't drain all that water so quickly. Um, it will get like all filled up. It takes a long time for my sink to drain all the water out. Um, and also I have found kids just get like really into like filling it, dumping it, filling it, dumping it, filling it, dumping it. And then they don't paint all day. They just are back at the sink, just filling and dumping, filling and dumping. So again, let's try to stay focused. If you need fresh paint water, you're welcome to ask, but please don't waste your time back there and just, you know, dump it out, clean paint water or, you know, clean water and then go back to your seat. All right, let's not spend a thousand years back there, okay? All righty. Now, okay, now I am going to speed up my little demonstration here just because I tend to be a slower painter than you students of mine. Um, but don't feel like you need to go as fast as my hands are moving in the video. I just want to let you know why um, it looks like my hands are going really fast. I'm just speeding up the video. All that being said, you can go ahead and get started painting. Have fun, but be responsible.
All right, you guys. So I have painted just the base of just those large areas today. And then next time we'll do all those details, those smaller things. All right. But thank you so much for watching. You guys did a wonderful job. I will see you in the next one. Bye.